Hi there. So today we're going to talk about how our first chakra wiring affects us in our life and what it tells us about what makes us happy and comfortable and where we live and our connection to nature and our connection to our clan and how it shows up in our energy grid reading. So for example, this is the first chakra, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And these grids do a lot. I mean, they look at our yin-yang balance. They look at every seven-year increment of our life and all that kind of thing. But today, we're just going to talk about the first chakra. So this guy, for example, he, I'm kind of hiding the name because, you know, it's a famous person. <laughs> it's no one we know. But this guy, for example, you can see that he has two of the planets in his first chakra. So one thing we know about him is he doesn't really want to move from the place he was born. He likes being in the village. He likes actually being part of the family, close to parents, close to family, close to tribe. Whereas someone like this guy, he has no planets in his first chakra. It doesn't matter where he lives. He'll move or not move, but he'll probably travel around a bit. And even whether he travels around a lot, it's like it doesn't matter. I mean, let's say he married someone who loved, who had this grid. Well, they maced it still, but maybe they'll travel for fun. You know, they won't just maybe just go camping close by. They'll say, no, let's go to Europe, right? There'll be that desire to kind of move around. And it's more like a lack of need to stay in one place. Whereas this guy, he won't want to leave. Like the idea of if he married a gypsy and the gypsy says, or the person who sort of has that gypsy spirit said, oh, let's just live in a van, move around. <laughs> you know, this guy's like, what? No, <laughs> he doesn't want that. Another interesting thing in terms of the difference, and those are the sort of extremes, right? You've either got a lot of planets there or maybe none. This guy will be very comfortable in nature, right? He's naturally wired into the first chakra. He naturally connects into the earth through the earth. So this person will love to go for quiet walks by themselves in the woods, and they will actually feel one with the trees. For this guy, it's good for him to go into the woods. It helps him ground. It helps him actually go down here. Other things that fill an empty first chakra are things, everything that grounds us. Exercise, a bit physical exercise that actually makes you have to re remember you have a body. This guy will forget that he has a body because he just has no natural wiring there. And so going into the woods for him is a really, really healthy thing but he'll probably go with someone. He'll probably go with a friend or a dog or something just by himself. He won't have that same communing feeling. The other interesting thing is they talk about, um, you know, how connected are you to your tribe? If you imagine that we still had clans, it's not just our parents, but it's our parents' parents, and it's our uncles and aunts and cousins and all that. That's the, that's the tribe, the clan. That's the other thing that first chakra tells us. This is clan. This is mom and dad. <laughs> Getting my, my direction funny. This is clan. So these guys, and especially because they're on that side, see how he's on, that, they're both on that side. So this guy will be heavily wired into the belief system of the clan, both clan. This is dad's side. This is mom's side. So he will be heavily wired in to the belief systems of both his maternal and paternal tribe. And in that case, those planets are all going direct, right? So all everything based on any kind of astrology or your date of birth is based on the positioning from the Earth. So the planets are all going around the sun, right? So these planets are all going straight when we look from Earth's perspective. Every so often, because all the planets are going, there's a, there's a planet that we might look at and it looks like it's going backwards and then it goes forward again. That's retrograde. That's, when it, that's what we mean when we say a planet's in retrograde. Because at this point, from the Earth's perspective, it actually looks like it's going backwards. It's not. It's just our perspective. 
A retrograde on a grid looks like this. See how they're in brackets? So this guy, in his mom's tribe, he has two big planets. That's Neptune and Venus, and they're retrograde. And what that means is he will have wiring into his mom's tribe, not his dad's. Don't worry about that little symbol there. In his mom's tribe, that's retrograde, which means that for him to thrive in life, he actually has to do the opposite of whatever his mom's tribe believed. And normally by the time someone like him might come find me and want an energy grid reading, he's already figured that out. <laughs> he's, you know, long decided that, okay, whatever they're about, I am not about, right? We, we generally do figure this out pretty soon. But it's interesting to realize how that wiring has affected us. And we might even blame ourselves for these thoughts. We may blame ourselves for these judgments or perspectives on the earth when we really, in the world, and what we really realize is, no, this is actually just wiring. And there is a benefit in it because it's almost like you get to know that I have these thoughts, but I actually, that's not actually who I am. I'm actually the opposite. So it's like we have a double. In one way, the retrogrades are very difficult. Like this guy, he will have had a, a very difficult childhood. The first, this is also the first seven years of life. He, had a, he would have had a very difficult childhood. But at the same time, it, that difficulty creates depth because you understand this side and the other side. And that he'll have learned to thrive, or maybe that's what we talk about in his grid reading, how to actually use that challenge or use that wa wiring that doesn't actually serve him to make it serve him and actually make him more interesting and happier and more able to make decisions in his life. Then there's this guy who, here we go, he's got planets on both sides, but on his dad's side here, so his dad's tribe, he's got um, thoughts or beliefs in dad's tribe's belief system that are no good. <laughs> he has to go against them. But over here, see how they're on the other side of the, of the diamond? So he's got Venus and Mercury in what his mother's tribe did, how they acted in society. And they're not retrograde. They're straight up. So they're very healthy. These are actually, it's almost like a natural gifting, how to fit into community, how to be a part of things. And it's really, really awesome. So it's always interesting to look within and ask ourselves, how do I feel? Do I really feel like I need to be part of a community or do I like to travel and meet new people? Or maybe a bit of both, right? Do I love being in nature or do I just know that it balances me? Do I really feel connected into the tribe or do I feel completely disconnected from the tribe? Kind of like this guy, for example, who has nothing in his tribe, right? Now he may love his family. It isn't that, it's not like a disconnect from the tribe, but he's free of the family. He's that guy that comes to the family reunions and he's not caught up in the ideals or the shoulds and the therefores and he just enjoys the food and enjoys the company and goes on with his life. Whereas other people, they're actually wired in and they're on the good side bringing good stuff forward and in a challenging way, bringing the challenging stuff forward, but maybe healing it and setting a new precedent, a new energy. So thanks for joining me today. If you'd ever love to have your energy grid reading done, there's links below. We also teach how to do them. If you'd like to add it to your business repertoire, or you just simply would love to know and kind of have a deeper dive into what it is being to be human and why we're all so infinitely interesting and different and unique. I hope you have a wonderful day.